Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to balance uh, your helicopter blades and set CG. Uh, these are 380 millimeter aligned blades. First thing we're going to do is we're going to weigh them. Thirty-eight four, thirty-seven four. They're off an entire gram. Okay, next thing we're going to do Okay, our level's right. We're going to find our center of gravity on these blades. I've already marked them. You can see I used a construction pencil and marked the center. Okay, now you can see that this mark is where the other blade is centered at. This is where this blade is. So it's off. This is the lighter blade. Now what we're going to do, so that means that we have to actually move it over here to get the center of gravity to that point. And it's going to take moving it all the way down here by the root. Now, we have two choices. Normally on a big blade, I would lighten this blade up. I would actually sand it down a little bit and re-clear coat it so it looks good. But because they're so small, I don't want to lose the weight. So what I'm going to do, just, just for purposes of showing you guys. Also, I'll show you before we do that. We will put them... on the balancer as you can see the heavier blade is down the lighter blade is up so we have to add weight now I could go all the way to the outside of the blade here and easily make it balanced the problem is I'll show you we're just going to take a little piece of paper or something. Put it on that end. What do you know? We balanced it out, right? With that tiny piece of paper. But there are two problems with that. Number one, I went all the way out on the end. Remember, this mark is where the center of gravity is on the other blade. If I put this piece of paper on this end, here, well obviously that's not going to work because it's already heavy towards that end. So I have to put it on this end. Well, if I do that, watch what happens. Same piece of paper on the inside edge. What do you know? It's not heavy enough. And it doesn't weigh enough. I have to come up with a whole gram of weight. And all the weight has to be as far inside as it can so the center of gravity ends up in the same spot. So just for purposes of showing you guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some electrical tape. And I've already figured it up. It's going to take quite a bit. The right way to do this is to add a little bit of fiberglass and re-clear coat over it to make it look good. But I know that if I wrap this twice in two different places along this edge, I'm going 
going to get the weight I need and hopefully in the right spot. All right, so now that's there. We're going to put them back on the balancer. See how close the weight see how close they're balanced now. What do you know? Now we're a little heavy, just a hair on this side. But what I want to show you is watch this. This is the blade that was originally 38.5. 38.5. This is the one we just added all the weight to that shows 38.5. So they weigh the same, but the only way to do it would be move it even farther in. Well, I can't because the blade grip goes to here and it's too hard to angle it here. So what I'm going to do, and... Because now, even adding that weight there, as you'll see, my center of gravity is still not perfect. What it did was put it right there. So we're going to get rid of this old mark. And we've got a new mark. Alright, so now we're almost perfect on the bubble. It's a hair off, but I'm not going to mess with it or it'll, it'll move it. Now, the, the thing is, though, I've got, let me find my square. I'm going to use a square so I know that these blades are even on the table. So what we're going to do is, well, if I can, there we go, get it so you guys can see it. Alright, so, this is the blade we added weight to. Now we're a hair off, which we're a little farther to the outside now, which is good, because it'll help the blades not load up and not bog, and it'll give them a little more pop. So where we want it is right here. So what we're going to do is come back over here and then we'll take and in this case we could use a sticker or something really, really light. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to try. piece like that and we'll go all the way to the outside and that almost levels it up so I'm going to put that sticker Well, I say I will, if I can get it off. There we go. Now, the problem is I just lightened it because the backing on the sticker weighs too. 
I'm going to put that right as far out as I can. Like that. And now, and as you can see, it's just about center. It actually could have used a hair more weight on that side, but if you look, yeah, that works. It's T ring. All right, so remember we drew our lines because having center of gravity is just as important as having the blades the same weight and balance. All right, we're right on the line on that blade. And we're right on the line on that blade. We're going to put it on the center of gravity in the middle. 38.4. Thirty-eight four, and that's how you balance your blades and set your center of gravity. And as I said, usually they're not going to be off that much. And on a bigger blade, you know the weight's not going to make that big a difference as far as a, a gram goes. On a small blade, you have a choice. You can either sand the heavier one down, which is easier, because now I've got to figure out some way to make that look good because I don't like the way that looks at all. It would fly fine, but, you know, it, it may affect the aerodynamics a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take a little fiberglass, put on there, a little resin, and then sand it down, shine it up, and make them the same weight. Now, I say I will. I've got a buddy, Gary Fogarty, who's going to do it for me because he's great with fiberglass. Anyway, I hope this guy helps you, uh, guys, uh, helps you learn how to balance and set center of gravity on your blades. Have a great night, and uh, again, look us up at myheli.net or myheli on Facebook, and great site for everybody. CP Helis is one of my favorite Facebook pages out there, and there's a lot of good information for anybody looking for anything having to do with RC Helis. Thanks.